Today we're making uh, instant odwo and you can also call it handwo. Um, we're making the vegan version but I'll show you what you can swap out to make it um, with dairy as well. So the ingredients uh, to start off with, uh, from my masala and adobo we're going to use salt which is nimak, hardar which is turmeric and then rye which is mustard seeds. We're going to use some hing which is asafoetida lemon juice then we've got some uh, curry leaves which is mito limro we've got some chopped spinach we've got ginger and uh, chili green chili which we've crushed we've got some uh, dried fenugreek uh, leaves you can use the fresh ones as well if you have this one i've got um, ajma leaves um, you probably know them as bajiana pan um, this is what it looks like um, it's purely optional but it gives a nice flavor then we've got sesame seeds we've got some eno which is um, eno fruit salt and then we've got um, cinnamon and clove powder and um, here what I have is grated carrots courgette and potato you can use any vegetables that you have really um, and then instead of using the actual flour, what I'm using is extra coarse semolina and we need two bowls of those. Now to give it the texture, um, we're swapping out the yogurt, which is the dairy version, with an avocado. Um, and uh, for the uh, tanginess of the yogurt, we're swapping that with uh, lemon juice. So um, we'll start cooking. So we'll start off with by putting a couple of these spoons of oil. This might seem a lot but I'm making for about six people so um, we need this. And I'll just heat up the pan and then start the tempering. Okay, so the oil has heated and I'm going to put a very generous um, spoon of uh, mustard seeds, which is rice. As soon as it starts popping, which you can see that they have started uh, cooking. They've started popping and we'll put in the curry leaves next. We'll also put in the ajma leaves. Just give it a little stir. I'll add in the spinach next. So we mash the avocado into the vegetables. Um, so we just uh, put the vegetables in and Next, I'm going to add in some salt. And some harder turmeric. Just give it a mix. And uh, I reduced the heat because uh, I just didn't want the risk of burning. And now I'll just put it up back to medium heat. Give it a really good mix and then um, we'll just uh, let it cook whilst we intermittently keep stirring. 
So it's been cooking for a couple of minutes and we'll just add some of the other ingredients in now. So we've got the ginger and chili. Put that in. Add the hing in. It's optional to put it at this stage. You can also put it in when you are doing the tempering. And we will put the methi leaves, the fenugreek leaves. And just give it another mix again. Probably keep it, keep mixing and um, letting it cook for about five to seven minutes on medium heat. So this has been cooking for another five minutes and as you can see the vegetables have started cooking because they've changed color, they've softened slightly. Um, so we'll add the Taj Loving Nobuko which is cinnamon and um, clove powder. So add that in. We'll add in a glass of hot water. And we'll add in some lemon juice um, it's all to taste so I'm probably going to add in about three to four tablespoons worth just give it a mix this needs to be a bit liquidy at this stage because you're going to add the semolina in a bit and that is um, very absorbent and it'll absorb all the, um, the liquid in here This has been cooking for about another two to three minutes, so I'll just add in the semolina now and give it a mix. So that was one bowl, and we'll just add in the other bowl in a minute. Um, just want to make sure that this mixes properly first. So just adding the second bowl in now and mixing it up. Now at this stage, if your um, if this mix is a bit too um, stiff as it is right now, um, you need to add in some hot water. Um, but we'll just give it a good mix first, and then we'll assess how much water we need. I'm going to add in half a glass of water, and then we'll see whether it needs any more. Just give it a mix and it's still quite um, stiff so we'll just add in the other half and give it a good mix. So at this stage um, just give it a really good stir, uh, switch off the heat and it's a good idea to taste it at this time. Um, you're, uh, you're tasting it for salt and any of the spices and you're also tasting it for um, or checking for the consistency. I've added another glass of water so we've now got three uh, glasses of water in this um, and it should be easily mixable but it shouldn't be liquidy it should be sort of this consistency and um, you just add it all at this stage um, and this is ready to be put in the oven now so we'll just prepare the dish that it's going in okay so i've just greased this tray i'm using a cake tray but you can use a casserole dish if you want and then um, if you're not allergic to um, sesame seeds so you can use it's purely optional it's for decoration purposes so i'll just take some um, sesame seeds and i'll just um, sprinkle some so it's time to put the batter or the mix into the tray but just before you do that you add the eno into the mix and you don't want to put the eno too early you literally do it before you put it um, in the oven because um, otherwise it goes flat so I'll just mix it up so we'll just leave the eno for about 30 seconds to aerate it and in the meantime, we will um, preheat the oven to 200 degrees. Okay, so whilst the oven is preheating, we'll uh, prepare uh, the tray. So we just need to pour the batter into the uh, tray. Just put it, put it gently bit by bit. 
So I've poured the mix into the tin and then gently flattened it. You don't want to squish it in, but just gently flatten it. And then we'll um, sprinkle some more um, sesame seeds. Uh, this is not just for decoration actually, it provides a nice taste as well. So if you are able to eat sesame, I would suggest you sprinkle some. And once the oven is heated, all we need to do is uh, put this into the oven and then wait for it to cook. So the oven has heated up to 200 degrees, so I'm just going to pop this in. Um, basically you cook it for about half an hour to 45 minutes. Some ovens you might even need more. Um, just after half an hour check that the top is uh, golden brown, a nice brown colour. If you want it to be uh, slightly more crispy, you can leave it for longer. Uh, maybe even uh, put a knife in or something like that to check uh, the inside. Okay guys, so the Odvo is ready and uh, you can put your chutney on top of it or on the side of it. This is a chutney I made earlier. Please check our video out um, for that. It's a multi-use chutney but it goes really well with Odvo. So I'm gonna dig in and um, this is best enjoyed with uh, tea, masala tea, if you want. Um, enjoy your order.